Hey there, thanks for clicking on my channel. This morning I grabbed avocado toast from BH Cosmetics. I was planning on doing a light look and then my daughter suggested we do palette bingo and I ended up getting all of the darkest colors in the palette. But I think this is really pretty and if you'd like to see how I did it, then hang out and I'll show you. My name is Rachel. If you haven't been here before, I'm a homeschooling stay-at-home mom and I just really love to play with colorful eyeshadow. I don't really know that much about other makeup. For me, it is all about the eyes. So if you'd like to see tutorials and other content along those lines on your timeline, then don't forget that you can like and subscribe. You can also find me on Instagram at Shimmers and Silver and I put other looks over there because as a busy stay-at-home mom, I don't actually have time to film every eyeshadow look. Although I do put up kind of a lot, so. Anyway, that's me, and without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so I'm gonna do avocado toast today, and because my camera is being used to record, um, I'm just gonna go old school and cut, uh, well, write the numbers down on this pad of paper, I throw them in a bowl, and then my daughter is going to select the five shadows. So, let's see if I can rip these even-ish. Okay, now my daughter is going to select five numbers and I will swatch those shadow colors on my hand and that will be my color palette for this look. Okay, go ahead, kiddo. Number 16. 16 is right here, holy moly. I'll just swatch them on my fingers because my hand is holding the phone. Okay, next. That's a good deepening shade. I'm happy with that one. 15. Ooh, extra, okay. All right. 12. 12, 12, 13, 12 is here, which is called pitch. Oh, this is obviously gonna be a dark look today. Come on, give me something light. Give me a shimmer, a light shimmer. Eight. Eight haws. That's a shimmer, but it's not terribly light. <laughs> and I need something light. These are all so dark. Five, four. four. Oh my four. word, spicy. Okay, this is bizarre. Hang on. This is bizarre because the last palette bingo I did, which was actually the first palette bingo I did, um, was with the Lost in Los Angeles palette, and I got this entire row plus that one. So today I got this entire row plus that one. <laughs> this is obviously going to be a very dark eyeshadow look today. Oh my goodness. All right, well. I can pick one more. Nope, only five, that's the challenge. So the good thing is I've got some dark colors because I like a deep, a deep eyeshadow look and I've got a nice blend of shadows and mattes. Yeah, I guess we will work with this and see what I can come up with. All right, so my color story is <laughs> way darker than I was planning on. I was hoping to get some of these lighter colors over here because I feel like when I dip into this palette I often gravitate towards some of the darker ones, like specifically this one. However, this is what I got and that's the whole point. Palette bingo is to do things that you might not have chosen for yourself, so this will be fun. I'm going to prime my eyes using the next primer in white. I have a feeling this is gonna end up looking a lot like the last video I made, which was the the child palette from ColourPop. Because that one was like grungy olivey greens as well. So we'll see how this turns out. I don't yet have a plan for this color story. I'm just gonna prime my eyes and then have a look at my swatches and see what I want to do. All right, I've got three shimmers and two mattes. One of the mattes is black. So, oh dear. <clears throat> All right, I think I'm gonna put this brown shade in my crease, deepen out the outer corner on the lid with the black, obviously. And then I think I'm gonna do this light, this green shimmer on most of my lid because I do want it to be a slightly lighter look. Then on my under eye, I will do the shimmer brown and shimmer blue, I think. And then, <clears throat> I am gonna grab a highlight shade. This palette has a couple nice highlight shades and because these colors that I got in the, in the bingo are so dark, I really wanna brighten up somehow, somewhere. So I think I'll do that. I'm gonna start with a detail crease brush in the color Pit here. I'm gonna place that in my crease, um, but kind of keep it in the outer half 
because I don't have, specifically because I don't have a bright light shimmer shade or even a light matte, but it's really a light shimmer shade. I don't want, I'm not gonna be able to cut my crease and have it look decent, I think. So I'm just keeping this dark tone in the outer part of my eye. That way I don't bring in too much depth by, the, by my nose. This is a really nice brown. I'm placing it where I want it to be and then I will blend it out a bit with a blending brush. I'm being careful here. Usually when I blend as a transition color, I tend to blend it up towards the brow bone, but I don't want to do that. I actually want to keep it down a little bit lower. So instead of blending up towards the brow and windshield wiper motions, I'm just kind of tapping on the very outer edge of the color because I want to keep it light by my brow. Today's look is going to be a challenge in seeing how I can take dark shades and not have a really dark eyeshadow look. We'll see how that turns out. Now with the pencil brush, I'm dipping into the black, which is called Holy Moly. And I'm just using that to deepen the outer corner only. I'm taking a small kind of pinched blending brush and I'm just gonna use that to soften these edges a little bit. <clears throat> I have to say, palette bingo is a lot of fun. I really like sort of the surprise element of it. Like, you know what the palette's color story is, but you have no idea what combination you're gonna have to work with. And it's, it's, it's a really fun way to challenge yourself. Now I'm back looking at my color story. I think I'm gonna stick with my original plan of putting this light green on most of the lid. It's not light green, but it's the lightest color I've got today. I'm taking a flat C brush and I'm gonna dip into the shade, which is called Haas, Haas Avocado. And then I will spray my brush. I pretty much always spray my shimmers. At this point, I would say the exception would be ColourPop, but even sometimes I spray those shimmers. Spraying the shimmer gives you some additional control over where the color is going. Oh yeah, that's a great color. And it also helps with fallout. So I'm placing Haas all the way to my inner corner of the lid, carving it up, and just meeting that dark brown on the outside of the, of the lid. I guess I could cut my crease with this, but I'm not going to. For, for my taste, it's still not quite light enough to cut the crease, but I totally could. It's a great color. All right, looking at this, I feel like there's too much of a, of a line between the brown and where I didn't blend anything over here. So I'm taking the original blending brush, I'm gonna clean it off and color switch it. And then I'm just gonna very carefully start at the edge of the brown and taper it in a little bit just to get rid of that that white line, especially because I have white primer underneath of it. I think it's a little bit too obvious. So I'm really, really lightly just going back and forth here. That's better. All right, back to my color story. My plan is to put this blue shimmer, pretty much the whole under eye with the dark brown shimmer at the outer corner and then I'll figure out a highlight shade. Taking an angled flat brush, I'm dipping into Extra, which is the shimmery blue. And then I'm gonna spray it because it's a shimmer. I want it to stay put. And I'm gonna start in my inner corner and work, on the, work the way out. Work my way out. Now I'm dipping into Spicy, which is up here. And I'm gonna put that on the outer corner, lower lash line. 
It's a good match for the dark brown up top. I'm just blending that into the outer V area. All right, just because I'm curious to see how it would look, I am taking a midnight blue eyeliner and I'm gonna line my lower waterline. I think it's gonna pull the blue out from this extra color, this green blue shimmer, but I really don't know. It might look terrible. It's pretty actually. It makes the under eye look very peacocky with teals and midnight blues and greens. All right, that was fun. Okay, so here is the finished look. My palette bingo results using the Avocado Toast palette. I am going to grab a highlight color though. <clears throat> I'm gonna grab the shade Avocado on a pencil brush and I'm gonna spray the shade. So dip into the pan first. Spray it. And then I'll place this on my inner corner. And then with whatever's left on the brush, I'm just gonna drag it under my brow bone to try to add some light up, lightness up there. Makes it look pop. All right, here's the finished look. I'm going to add some black eyeliner and mascara and I'll be back. Guys, here's the finished look. I added some black eyeliner and did a wing and some mascara, a little bit of face highlighter, and that's about it. I don't have false lashes, so you don't have to worry about that. And I do have a little bit of ColourPop lip oil on my lips because I just like the smooth formula of it. Anyway, this look turned out a little different than I was expecting, but I think it's really pretty. I love, I especially love this green shimmer. It's so lovely. And I had a lot of fun. I am loving palette bingos. I'm probably gonna do a lot more of them. Let me know if you like them. Let me know if you try this look. If you do it yourself, tag me on social media so I can see how yours turned out. And until the next time we see each other, have an awesome day. Bye. <laughs> Go do your math and I'll make us some tea in a little while. You flinched. I flinched. I made you flinch. Aha! <laughs> you flinched. I am the flinching queen. <laughs> Avo cuddle. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, that's cute. You'll be coming around the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain. You have to do your math. When you're done, I'll make you something yummy to drink. But until then, you must do your math and stop getting distracted.